Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm Brad, I did the internet communications major during my degree which sparked my interest in and led me to my honours topic of online piracy in Australia. Around the world, the internet now plays a key role in content distribution for media companies and consumers alike. A very brief example of this is the rise of platforms like Netflix, or YouTube and its user generated content. Users view more than 1 billion hours of YouTube content every day. With this, Australian broadcasters have attempted adapting into the digital world with apps and platforms. And though online distribution is seen as the future by many, the web is imperative for this, and it also permits online piracy. On piracy, I'm not talking about a ship or an eye patch. Online piracy can be described as the unauthorized distribution of protected works over the internet. Australians are some of the biggest online pirates in the world and have been the main offenders in downloading shows like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead, even locally produced efforts in 100 Bloody Acres and Wormwood. To briefly summarise, there are a couple of key theories as to why piracy is an issue here. Given Australians are traditionally used to free-to-air television, it seems logical that we aren't keen on the idea of paying for media content in the first place. This raises the Australia tax. Digital content is more expensive for Australians than overseas. For example, to legally watch The Walking Dead in 2014, we would have paid 376% more than our British counterparts. The second theory is the restriction and delay of content access. For example, the Australian movies I just mentioned were released on the US iTunes store and delayed here in Australia for 8 weeks. An even larger piracy indicator can be seen with Game of Thrones and its restriction to Foxtel, for example. Together, these outline the tyranny of digital distance. Neither makes sense in a world where we are all connected and have immediate access to everything else, where geographical barriers need not exist. Enter a solution then in online streaming, often cheap and delay-free. A small preliminary study has been undertaken considering streaming by James Meese, but his findings were not concrete. This is the gap in research where my question lies in examining how and why Australians are accessing content online today, whether the rise of streaming platforms have had a considerable impact on piracy in Australia. To address this question, I'll be applying critical textual analysis to three case studies. The first case study will analyse the online content distribution strategies of the ABC and the BBC, including an analysis of each platform's libraries, constraints, affordances and features. This is chosen as an area where there are some key differences. For example, the ABC's iView is free, as is access to the ABC's broadcast channels. In the UK, an expensive TV licence exists which consumers must have not only to watch the BBC, but to access its digital app as well. Case Study 2 will examine key differences in content availability on Netflix in Australia compared to the US. This will include quantitative analysis of Netflix catalogue data which, with statistics and reports, will be used to contextualise scholarly work on streaming culture, availability and distance. Areas of interest here include looking at content exclusive to Australia, researching the idea of a global Netflix, and the importance of genre, including spoilers and binge culture, to consumers. Case Study 3 is a smaller case study that focuses on sport consumption in Australia, with AFL a main area of focus with what can only be described as some strange streaming solutions. I will look at how sport is limited live on pay TV, bundling and live streaming. These examples will be used with statistics and academic work on live online distribution and sport piracy in comparing the Australian experience of accessing the AFL to that of the WWE network. These findings will be utilised with academic research to examine how Australians have access to content, the theories behind resorting to piracy or circumventing geoblocks, a process by which a user hides their location using VPN software to gain access to content only available elsewhere, and whether live streaming platforms can or do address these. Looking forward, most of my background research is complete with a first draft of my introductory chapter. I have an overall foundation for the project with a roadmap and target deadlines. I'm currently working through quantitative Netflix research to work on the contextual areas of that chapter, 
Following this, research on the affordances of the ABC's and BBC's platforms will be undertaken, followed by further analysis of live sport consumption for Chapter 3. Please let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about my research, and most importantly, thanks for watching.